All right. In this video, I get to show you something awesome. All right. Something painfully, brutally awesome. In fact, it's so awesome, you may have a hard time staring at your monitor. All right. I'm going to brace myself. Brace yourself. I get to show you sketch spheres, or Z-sketching, as it's also called. Okay. Z-sketching is a system that is available with Z-spheres that allows you to create an entire model, an entire character, monster, whatever, from a single Z-sphere, if you were so inclined, by adding on volume one stroke at a time. It's kind of like painting clay, like literally conjuring clay from the ether with a magic brush. Awesome. Yeah, it really is. Now, here's how it works. I already have a chain of Z-spheres in my scene. You can do the same, or you can just bring in a single Z-sphere. You have to have at least one. It's just how it works. And if we take a look, we have Z-sketch here inside our tool panel. All you need to do is activate Z sketching or edit sketch like so. And now you'll notice my Z spheres all changed color. They all look slightly different. Now I need to increase my brush size for this to be apparent. If I click and drag, now I'm using my stylus right now. So if things look really fancy, that's why. Oh, it still thinks I'm moving. Make sure you're in draw mode. <laughs> uh, if I click and drag, I start getting some of this. Ooh. Now here's where it gets a little fancy. Note the shape of my chain right now. You mm -hmm. see this? If I, hit, if I hit A, what do you expect to see? You ex I, I'm going to answer for you. I'm not going to let you answer. Uh, you expect to see some sort of a skin that comprises our entire chain. Right. That's what you saw before. Now all you see is the result of this sketch. Hmm. We're not even just limited to this armature either. We can branch spheres off into space if we want to. Whoa. And hit A. And now we have a new shape. We can hold down Shift and we can smooth these out to make them blend into one another very nicely. That's like an alcoholic's attempt at one of those balloon dogs or something. Oh, you can make a killer. Oh, well, let me cancel this real quick. Stay in preview mode and get out of yeah, here. Yeah, no drinking, Zach. Discard changes. Thank you. Well, you, you got me thinking about drinking. <laughs> yeah, I see that. But yeah, you could make an amazing balloon dog with this uh, whole technique. First hand it came to mind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, uh, and then you can change your brush size so I can get really small and I can start painting detail directly on the surface. Hit A. Wow. And there's the detail. So just without, I don't want to take this and really turn it into a big, long thing. We're going to see a lot of use of Z-sketching as we move forward. But if I undo several times, and we just kind of start with something very rudimentary. I'm going to tap S, and let's just pretend like this is like the arm of a character. Mm -hmm. I can start by creating a big chunk of volume that could be somewhere where the chest is, smooth that out, shrink my brush down, and then start making strokes, maybe a little bigger, that represent, represent muscle. the muscle flow, say, of the pectoral muscle, and then build up the shoulder in a similar way, smooth that out, and then start flowing down the bicep, and here's what we end up with. Very cool. When I'm happy with this, I can start sculpting this and turn this into its own work of art. It's an extremely cool way to work. Yeah. Here's the great thing about it. Let me go ahead and just discard my changes. The fun doesn't stop there. If I continue drawing and it, it's fine if it looks a little terrible um in fact i'm going to do one guy that kind of branches off here just because we can oh yeah and if you over smooth you'll see it kind of buckles in on itself but it's kind of to be expected because we have this sort of floating shape here if you get out of edit sketch mode this seems to disappear keep in mind that if you are no longer looking at your sketch and you start moving your z spheres around you'll get an interesting division <laughs> in where everything is so be be aware of that you may not want to do that let me Get out of here, get out of edit sketch mode, and I'll just undo a couple of times. So, boom, everything's back where it was. And I'm going to put this guy back in well, by going into draw mode. Because you always need to be in draw mode. Well, be aware of your draw mode. Well, you don't have to be. That's, yeah. a, that's a great thing. I mean, you can take these strokes and you can move them around. Well, sure, but if you want it to draw. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, check this out. If we get out of edit sketch mode and switch over to bind mode... This gives us this nice little ghost shader that shows us where all of our sketches are. And it's while, nice little Fresnel shader. Yeah, and while we're looking at this, we can use all of our original tools. So now I'm in move mode. Oh, yeah. And I can adjust all of my Z-spheres, and my Z-sketch will just come along for the ride. Wow, very impressive. So I can stretch this out, reposition this guy, maybe just put everything over here and spin this back around, spin this around like so, uh, pull this guy way out here, and there's our result. So we switch out of bind mode, boom, go back to edit sketch mode. Now keep in mind, there is kind of a difference in behavior when you're using bind mode. If it's on and you tap A, you've got a combination mesh. Okay. So notice I've yep. got my original Z-sphere mesh and I've got this built on top. That can be useful. 
So if you find yourself wanting to use that as a basis for your mesh, mm -hmm. you can do that because we could convert this to a poly mesh 3D and start sculpting from here right oh, now. Very cool. So that's pretty much it. That is a quick rundown. It's nothing fancy. I just want you to see the tool. And then as we move forward, we'll actually be using this to create our very own model. Great. Any questions? No. All right. That'll wrap up this video. Thanks a lot.